fruity, 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 fruity. Good readings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you. And welcome back to another episode of Fruity Fruits, where I taste fruits that are fruity. If you've missed the previous episodes, and there are quite a few, I'll put a link down below to the Fruity Fruits playlist where I have tasted many, many types of fruit. But I have not tasted this one. Today I'm going to be tasting the Pink Glow Pineapple. This pineapple is pink. You cut the pineapple open and the interior is completely pink. Several of my beautiful lovelies reached out to me to tell me about this and Del Monte also saw me on Twitter and kindly sent me a pineapple. This is not a sponsored video so I will be giving you my honest opinion as always to the taste and flavor of this gorgeously supposedly pink pineapple. So let's go ahead and do this. Here is a box that arrived at my doorstep. Precious cargo, Costa Rica, because these are grown in Costa Rica. This came packaged with ice packs, so I opened it up and immediately put the pineapple in the refrigerator, but I did want to show you the packaging it came with. Do -do 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 -do. The pink glow, fresh Del Monte pineapple. Pink glow pineapple Costa Rica, jewel of the jungle. And this, oh. This is a certificate of authenticity that this is an official pink glow pineapple. I read on the Del Monte website that this pineapple has been 16 years in the making. It is only grown in Costa Rica. <laughs> a pineapple looks very different, doesn't it, without its crown or the leafy portion on top. Now on the website, Del Monte says they remove this so that they can propagate new ones, but I suspect they remove this so that people like me who like to propagate things don't propagate their own pink glow pineapples. These retail for $50, $49.99 on the website. So I could see why they want to deter people from trying to grow one of these bromeliads in their own garden. Although I do believe it takes a few years for the plant to be mature enough to produce a pineapple. I think three years. Pineapple experts let me know down below. But I have had success propagating a pineapple. We love pineapples in our house. So when you lop this off, you can just bury that crown. You rip off the bottom layers of leaves and just stick it in some soil. I've also tried doing this by placing the crown after I pulled off the leaves in a glass of water, but I didn't have any luck with any rootlets coming out. So I recommend just sticking it into the ground. So I live in New England, which is much too cold of a climate to grow a pineapple, but it is fun to see something grow out of something that you might ordinarily throw away. So if you're in the grocery store and you want to pick out a good pineapple, I always smell it just like my melons. If you can smell them, that means that they're ripe. I also look at the bottom to make sure there are no soft spots. So last year there was a technique of eating a pineapple by removing all the segments individually and I'll put a link down below to my video testing out that theory. In that video I also included different ways to peel and prepare a pineapple. Today I'm not going to do any of those. I'm just going to cut this in half and show you yet another way to open a pineapple. <laughs> do -do -do. Oh my gosh, look! <laughs> it's totally pink. Totally beautifully pink. And it's very aromatic. Full. It is exactly as advertised. It's this pink color. It smells like a regular pineapple, but maybe a little sweeter. Maybe it's just my imagination. The association with colors and flavors is very strong. So when you see something pink, you do have this tendency to think, oh, strawberry, cotton candy. Those color associations and flavors are very, very strong. I've done enough taste tests and blind taste tests at this point to know that that is the truth. You can cut both ends off. Cut it into wedges. And then remove the core. Then we're gonna move the skin by just slicing it from the bottom like this. And now we just cut these into bite-sized pieces. Look at that, they look almost like little pieces of watermelon. They're a little bit more of a pink opaque color rather than kind of a translucent or transparent pink color. And the color is kind of similar to guava. Itadakimasu. Mm. It tastes like a fresh pineapple, but it also tastes sweeter. Mm -hmm. 
I'll eat a pineapple until it makes my tongue raw. Just love pineapple so much. And I actually miss the tanginess. That's part of the pleasure for me of a pineapple is that really great tanginess. When a pineapple is too sweet for me, I don't like it. I end up blending it and making it into a smoothie because when it comes to eating fresh pineapple, I love it tart. And this is not as tart, although it does have a great pineapple flavor. Is this worth $50? I don't think so. I think you can get a perfectly, wonderfully, beautiful tasting pineapple from the supermarket. You, of course, will get this gorgeous pink color, which incidentally is caused by lycopene, which is the same natural coloring in tomatoes. Although in Japan, you can find fruits that are priced $50, $100, $150, $200. There, of course, are the most prime, beautiful examples of, say, a melon, for example. And they're packaged beautifully and they're given as gifts because of their excellence. And I've tried those fruits before and they are sublimely excellent. So there is something to be said about the appreciation of a singular perfect fruit. I'll leave it up to you if you want to spend $50 on one, though. Imagine that I hadn't cut this pineapple in cross section and that I'm just removing exterior of the pineapple. My mother and father, while they were traveling, saw a fruit vendor selling pineapple and she had this tool. And my mom being my mom, she was able to purchase one for me. So mom, thanks so much for getting this for me. And this is a pineapple eye remover, which is kind of like a gouge. So you use this to remove the eyes of the pineapple and you end up with a spiral kind of shaped pineapple. In my pineapple cutting video, I showed you the technique on how to do this with a knife. So there you have it, the pineapple eye gouge. Would I purchase a tool like this? Would I need a tool like this? Unless I was eating lots and lots and lots of pineapples and I perfected my technique, I might consider this, but it's not a necessary tool by any means. A good sharp knife will do the job. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Check out the Fruity Fruits playlist, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Na 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 na